All right. Good evening, everyone. My name is Everett Ikao. I'm based in Chicago. I hope everyone, I hope we all find you well. Tonight is a very special night. I'm sure all of you are surprised we're watching out there that it is not the usual program this evening because we have something very special to, to, uh, to, to be, uh, share with you tonight to celebrate our very own Quentin GK um, regular host, Ate or Miss Donna Reyes. So, yay, virtual claps out there. Yes. Hi, Ate Donna. Hello, Everett. Thank you for hosting this evening. I get to take a break for one night a week, right? <laughs> well, the honor and the pleasure is all mine. I am really, really honored to be here. And I'm so thankful to GK and to you for giving me the opportunity to, to host and be a, a special guest uh, host for your birthday. I mean, happy, happy birthday. Are you excited for all the fun that we're going to be having tonight? I am super excited. I'm having the time of my life. You have yeah. no idea. <laughs> yeah, great, great. I'm sure a lot of people out there are surprised as to you are now on the other side of the of the chair. Of, uh, you're going to be the one answering the questions rather than giving the questions. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And kind of, we're just going to have a lot of fun in terms of just getting to know you even more, not just the host, but as a GK advocate. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to be more inspired of the work that you've done and will continue to do. So to start us off, I mean, where are you right now? I know we're all over around the world. There's everyone uh, is kind of apart, but also very close through the through online. But where are you right now? I am based in Chicago, and I live in Algonquin, which is a suburb of uh, of Chicago. It's a city in Illinois. Yes, and, and we've known each other for some time now. So we are both based in Chicago, and we're very proud Chicagoans. So if you're in the Midwest, definitely uh, visit us and say hello. So, I mean, just to kick us right off, really, um, as, we, as everyone knows, you're celebrating your special night because it is your birthday, and you look as young as ever. I oh mean, you look amazing. Um, and so we're, uh, you know, there's good genes, I'm, I'm sure, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Filipino but, genes. That's what it yeah, is. <laughs> it, that's true. Very true. We age gracefully. So that's um, but for your birthday, what what are your birthday plans? Um, and what why this particular birthday is different from past ones? All right, well, for, for one, it's no longer, I mean, we're now we've opened up a little bit, right? And so um Bobby and I went out to lunch um today, earlier today. And um, tomorrow, like over the weekend, we're going to be at the um, Grand Geneva Resort up in Wisconsin, which is a little less than an hour drive. So it's kind of a staycation. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be there and we're going to be spending time with, with friends. A little bit of business, but, you know, but also a little bit of recreation. So it's going to be fun. Oh my gosh. Like if you've been to Lake Geneva, it's beautiful, right? I have like, never been. Believe oh, it's like your first been. time. Oh, you'll have <laughs> yes. a great time. It's so beautiful. And like you said, like now that the the area is starting to open up, you will have such a great time and it'll be a good time to spend time with family and, and with friends really uh, uh, for your birthday. So that's awesome. So I'm, I'm, you sound very excited. Yes. I am very excited. Yes. Great. Wonderful. Now, in terms of we're here, you know, obviously we're here to celebrate you, but a big part of your mission and advocacy um, through the things that you've done for the communities, um, especially for those uh, who are less fortunate than us, is really through the work that you've done uh, through Gawad Kalinga, right? Um, yes. So how can you kind of tell us a little bit, you know, our friends here online watching us tonight and helping us celebrate your birthdays, tell us the beginnings of your journey with GK and, and how has that, you know, come into fruition and how has it shaped you to be the Adana that you are at this moment? And I am, oh my gosh, who's that person? All right. We'll, we'll find out. I think, well, my my journey with the poor really started back um, in when I was in college. So I would start with that, um, in, you know, because I think at a young age, um, my love for the work for the poor have been ingrained in me. And it was something that I always say this, I've said this in, in past um, episodes too, with when I was sharing with guests as well, and just kind of having conversations and stuff like that is that when God calls you, it's loud and it's persistent. I really truly believe that. And my, my calling, I, I believe, 
um, started way back when I was in college. Um, uh, you know, think, uh, thanks to my parents, you know, I lived a you know, comfortable life. We weren't super wealthy or anything, but we were comfortable. And so, I mean, you've you probably heard this before, you know, you see poverty in the Philippines. It has really become, you know, you get kind of immune to it because you wake up and, you know, you, you, you go through traffic in Manila and all of that, you know. You see the slums and all of that just kind of, you know, just um, become part of the, of the landscape, right? And so, you know, but my, my first encounter with poverty was when I was in college, freshman college. We went up to Panay Rizal. It was a community of, uh, of Dumagats. And Dumagats are indigenous peoples uh, of the Philippines. And I was just shocked that they did not have any basic services at all. No clean water, no, you know, um, obviously no health services, no electricity, nothing, not, you know, not, no basic services. Um, and so I was just shocked. And when I came back um, from that trip, it was, a, it was a requirement of my sociology class. When I came back, I, I vividly remember to this day how guilty I felt because, you know, um, I did not understand why my life was so different from theirs when, you know, I was just kind of born to the life I had and they were born to the life they had. And so it was just a really, really impactful, even traumatic experience to the point that I actually questioned my faith. I really did. And thankfully, you know, uh, I, I, I came back to my faith and all of that. And, you know, I just continued, you know, working for, um, um, you know, to, toward social justice and all of that um, all throughout my, my college years. And then you graduate, right? And then you get a job and you kind of, you know, you're, you kind of have a, you know, um, life happens and you, 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 you forget, I guess, right? I thought I forgot. I had forgotten yeah. what, what my calling was, what was, what I was passionate about and everything. Then in 2003, August, 2003, so right around you know, this time, I heard a talk. Um, I was invited to a to a talk by Luis Okinena, our chairman of Gawad Kaninga. And you know, that was when um, you know I saw the videos of you know of uh, the poor in the Philippines and Gawad Kaninga was really making a difference in their life and you know, reaching out to them and all of that. And that night I couldn't sleep. I was tossing and turning. And if you know me, you know, though my friends who are watching right now, they know that I sleep like nobody's business. <laughs> I do sleep eight oh, hours straight. My GMA associates hated me for that because they couldn't sleep when there's production going on and stuff. But I can. I could. But that night I couldn't sleep. And I, you know, I hooked up with the area directors then in Chicago. And the rest is history. I'm still here from 2000, since 2003. And yeah, I've been, it's been, it's been really an inspiring, inspiring journey. And, you know, I, you know, I'm going to be here for many, many more years. Wow, that's inspiring. I mean, you, 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 there's a lot to unpack there in such little time. I mean, I, I, I love where you bring points of um, purpose and, and how you had to kind of learn really from, from what I was hearing uh, about yourself more, right? That it encouraged you through your experience um, of where God and your faith kind of had a point of inflection, you know, asking you, what, why am I here, right? And really your work with the poor is, that's truly inspiring at the now. Well, um, thank you for that. Uh, uh, on the same thought of, of you being inspired, there's a few, many, many fans who want to say hello and happy birthday to you. Um, mm -hmm. From Jean G from Chicago says happy birthday at the Donna. Oh, um, happy birthday. Yes, and I think you may know this one. Happy birthday, people. Is that? Is that <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> our <laughs> endearment. Don't gag yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> so is your term of endearment people to each other? Yeah, I yeah, I started that. And I kind of just call them like different kids' names. And yeah, people gag. You guys can gag. Oh, thank you. It's <laughs> not all. <laughs> um, from Joy Gilliema, happy uh, happy birthday, Donna! All the best. Um, Thank you. From hello to uh, from uh, Carlos Capati. Good evening, happy birthday, Donna! 
Hi, to the Charlie. Thank you. And then from Ati Mayor Amante, happy, happiness for you, Donna. So, yeah, so I, like I said, it, it's truly inspiring me. And I, you, you have really not only found that journey from what I can tell, but you, you're currently living daily, really choosing to bring your faith and your sense of purpose in, in GK. And, and that to me personally is very inspiring. So thank you for doing what you do, Atadana. Um, so, well, I am told that there are a few uh, photos that, they, that we would like to share with you so that you can kind of tell us and, and bring back about the journey that, we, that we're currently talking about. Um, I believe I'd like to ask for them to bring up these photos. Are you excited? To tell oh, yeah. to kind of go back <laughs> down memory lane. Party night, yay, I turned 49. <laughs> and it's it's perfect, it's throwback Thursday today. So we're definitely throwing it back on Donna. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, oh, yay, party night. All right, let's show the first photo. Let's see. Oh, tell us about this. What's okay. going on here? So the picture on the left here, uh, we're all wearing black with Mr. C, you know, the, you know, the, the great Mr. Ryan Kayabyab, and you see Joey Albert there and Louis Reyes. So this was at the very first uh, Kalinga Global Summit in Boston. Um, so we were, you know, um, I, you know, this was, I think, oh, Tita Maria Montaliban was also there. Um, direct Maria Montalima is also there. So it was just a lot of fun. This was, I think, after the program and we were just, you know, uh, chilling after, you know, uh, just kind of uh, you know, getting together with everybody. And then these are all actually uh, Gawad Kalina Summit um, really? events. Um, the, on the right, all those uh, people wearing green, these were the very first board of directors in Chicago, in the north, in north, the north central region, I should say, to be more specific, um, and then also, of course, you can see uh, Tito Boy Montaliban right there wearing a barong, I think, on the leftmost. Um, well, what else is here? Okay, at the bottom, of course, uh -huh. Senator Kiko Pangilinan, oh. journalist um, Patricia Este uh, Evangelista or Estevez, like our. Sorry if I <laughs> if I had because there's another writer who's also uh, Patricia Evangelista. So I, I kind of you know mixed them. This was oh my goodness maybe 2009 2010. Wow. I think I could be wrong. Don't put me on the year. I'm old. I'm party nine. So <laughs> that's well, your party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, these are all summits relating to GK. Relating yes, to these are all the, this is all in one event. The Gawad Kalinga first global summit and all you must know all of the uh, uh philippine media were there that's where i met my would be boss or my my who would be my boss um joseph francia a jimmy so you know it kind of opened the doors for me to get into my dream job a gma network and that's where i met lovely and eric who have been who have been amazing in helping us out also here in on uh, Quentin Chique, so there you Oh, wow. Wonderful. Well, that's, the, we're just beginning. So let's show the next photo. Okay. Tell us about this one. Okay. You look like you're at a party at a, at a dress. Yeah, well, so the one on the top, the, the top one is, um, I believe this was in Houston, mm. is uh, one of the planning sessions, one of the conferences, um, and this was Jiko, Gawad Kalinga Komunikasyon. And it was oh, okay. fun to meet uh, Tita Maria Montaliban, no, Tita M, as we call her. Uh, okay. She's, uh, you know, the director of, uh, uh, she's a, our GCOM director and also director, but she directed the uh, Sea Games. Um, I forget what year um, it was um, that she directed that. She was, uh, she was also, I believe, the director of our, of, um, RPTV Malacanang when oh. uh, when president uh, during President Cory Aquino's time, and I'm not sure if it's if it's also during um, Pinoy's time, um, but yeah, that's really that's that was really special. And these are the people that Ben De Choso is wearing that denim right there. I don't know, mm. is watching um, Tito Freddy Guevara at the back right there. 
uh, of, of Ben. So this is really, you know, really super special. And we have uh, um, jo Joanne uh, Sai Gavagat. She was our GCOM director at that time, like national. And the photo at the bottom uh -huh. is um, with uh, General Ikama and Joseph Francia, who was, again was my boss at JMA Network. Um, but that was also part of the global summit in Boston. In Boston, wow. So we have one Houston, one Boston. There's it's just, it's everywhere. This, these summits, yes. this a lot of fun and a lot of networking and kind of working together for a, a common good. That's amazing. Um, next picture. <laughs> Ooh, this looks fun. Yeah, so this is really funny. Um, so this was in 2007. No, okay. 2006. 2006 because it was the year before my church wedding. So okay. this was our first, Gawad Kalinga participated in the Chicago Marathon in 2006, October 2006. And we were about maybe a little bit over 50, maybe 50 and 60 people. And maybe only like two or three of us were really runners and athletic, kind of like you, like most of us weren't. And we had a lot of titas and titas in our group, right? And sure. so, so I was one of them. So do not get the idea that I'm athletic or sporty at all. I am not. Every little bone in my body is lazy. It, you know, always have. <laughs> but for the love of GK, I did it. I ran the marathon. And this was a funny picture that came out on uh, Pinoy Monthly. Thank you, Tita Ano. Tita ano. Uh, my friend, uh, Ted Mahensha, took it. And after the, the marathon, he was like, Oh my gosh, Donna, you you're you're smiling in all of the pictures I took of you. So he's a really good friend of mine. So he took a lot of pictures of me, I, I think. And you know, and I just didn't feel anything. I was just like, la la la, you know, running, running. And I didn't feel, you know, tired or I didn't feel pain or anything. Um, and I did six hours and 59 minutes. <laughs> now. Now. Two more minutes. If it was like seven hours and one minute, I would have. I would not have the video. So he ordered the video. He said, "Great job, people! It's less than seven hours. Now we have a video." <laughs> so yeah, we still have the video. So that was a lot of fun. And and yeah. you know, the last person who crossed the line, who crossed the you know the finish, the finish line, yeah, was actually um, Heidi Lopez, I think. And uh, it was so funny. She was the last one, and because she's the last one, she had a she was featured in an article on the Tribune. Oh wow! She had a really good PR out of that. <laughs> I mean, it was going out among all these like huge nonprofits, right? And right. God is God is funny. <laughs> yes, he has a good sense of humor, right? He, he really does. He really. But does. What I can say, this photo, you can see the pure joy, the adrenaline, the excitement of just going through the motions of doing good. Like, look at that. You have the winning victory pose. You know, you're ready for that finish line. It's amazing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I, 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 I'm, well, well, would you think, would you do it again? Would you do another marathon? When you ask, only last weekend, my, my our coach uh, was over, you know, we were, we, I hosted a little gathering here, was here, and he's like, I think oh. run next year again. I'm like, um, maybe. And Robbie's like, no, I get tired of like following her around. <laughs> <laughs> he did was follow me around though. He did like, he would take the train or, you know, like kind of just monitoring where I'm at, where, where I am at that, uh, you know, at a certain point and stuff like that. He didn't really run, but for some reason he got tired more. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, if you decide to do it, it's a possibility. Yes. Well, if you decide to do it, we get a group going. We have to uh, get a cheer squad going, right? Sure, yeah. <laughs> well, before we move on to the next photo, a few more greetings for you. There's tons that are going coming by. We have from uh, Mary Rose, Opal, happy birthday, Donna. And Thank then, you. <laughs> and then from Tony Pasqua, um, just got in. So he's watching us. So say hello. Thanks for joining us. All right. Now, all right, next, shall we see? Our, we have a few more photos, so let's go on to the next one. Oh, okay. This one is in the 
at the GK Enchanted Farm in Angat Bulacan. That was yes. the village that that we well visited. We, we saw some villages where we kind of just drove by, didn't really like spend time. So so I'm such a loser. Not a loser, loser, but you know, because obviously GK, you know, the Enchanted Farm is such, you know, is is a, such a beautiful place. And we actually saw it when the roads weren't paved yet. And when it was like the you know the uh, when it was developed into this really nice um, you know beautiful village, but what I meant by being such a loser was that I should really visit more Gaudi mm. villages. That's what I meant, and I'm I'm super excited. I hope you know this will, will you know that it, I hope it will be safe for for us to travel again soon. And that will be you know first in my bucket list when I when I go home to the Philippines. This, to visit one or two more Gawad Kalinga village. I mean, would you say that visiting a village, especially through Gawad Kalinga, uh, is is an experience, right? It's experience it worth. It's a life changing moment, really, right? Yes. 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 So wonderful. All right. We, I can we see the next floor? I think this may be the last or not, but we'll see. Next photo, please. All right. Well, okay. So this the this picture on the left is pretty is more recent. Um, this was at the uh, Tampa. Um, oh, I'm not sure if you were there. Oh, you were there. Tampa. Yes. Yes. I think October 2019. October 2019. Correct. Right. So we were just at the back, and I took a selfie with with myself, Isa, Cuelva Santos, and of course. Marcel Villanueva, our um, executive director for GKUSA. And then at the back, photo bombing right there. I don't know if you can recognize him, but that's uh, Mark Lawrence Cruz. <laughs> ah, who you Mark? And then on the right, this was back in 2014. And judging from what people are wearing, it might be like in the summer because <laughs> no one is wearing, you know, any sweater or anything like that. And this was during the, uh, the uh, when they were promoting uh, GET, I forget what it stands for, something electronic transportation. And um, this was actually my very first GK event um, when I came back to Chicago in 2014. And it was at Leslie's old office. And this is also very memorable because that was the first time that I met Leslie Takia, our area director in uh, Chicago in the Midwest. So, and then of course the rest is history. After that, he was hooked, and now he's she's our area director. Which is very very. Special. This is the moment you got her. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I didn't have to work hard on her at all. She <laughs> something, and I, I I I truly believe that God also had called her to. Mm. Very true, very true. All right, L our photo of the night. Okay, there's a photo for the night. Oh, two, second to the last photo of the night, I should okay. say. Okay, all right. So on the left, of course, is uh, Dylan Wilk and Tom Graham. Um, and Tom Graham wrote the book, The Genius of the Poor. And of course, you guys know Dylan Wilk um, of Human Nature. Um, and this was back uh, maybe 2015, 2016. Again, you know, this is when we came back to uh, Chicago um, after living to, in the Philippines for two and a half years. And another right, of course, our beloved, uh, our dear Tito Tony. And Tito Tony has just been an inspiration to me. And I know all of us say that. Everyone he had touched, you know, would, would, would say that, right? But for me, he really truly has been an inspiration. Um, you know, I, I remember him. One of the things, I, I, you know, I, I learned so much from him. But one of the things that he told me that I will never forget and I apply it in every, every area of my life was that he told me I was feeling kind of down because, you know, people were moving places and were kind of changing leadership and all like that kind of stuff. And, you know, I was, uh, my mentors moved to a different state, moved out of state and all of that. And I said, you know, I'm just really burned out. And, you know, I feel like I'm not inspired. And he said, you know, you should always find inspiration. You shouldn't find inspiration from within. No, don't find inspiration from without, but find inspiration from within. So, so what he's trying to say is, 
you know, no matter what, you know, what, what changes go, you know, around you, if your inspiration is from within, within, you know, your, your God and what you, what your conviction is and what you truly believe in, then you'll keep going because you don't really, uh, I read somewhere that said you don't get tired or you don't get burned out by what you do, but because you forget why you do what you do. It's when you get burned out. Is that awesome? That is oh. woo, the aha moment tonight. Right, right. So yeah. So let us not forget why we do what we do and we will never get burned out and we will never get tired. That's beautiful. I, I'll, I'll have to put that somewhere on like a sticky note, you know, when you're getting tired, you're going to look at it. Look, remember why you're doing it. Really, that's a beautiful, beautiful. Um, we have a few messages before we go to our last photo of the night at Donna. We have um, Jean, love seeing your journey with GK through these pictures. And you know this one. She's the next uh, message is from our own very own executive director of GK USA, Athe Maricel. Your first yes to GK was followed by many other yeses. Thank you and happiest birthday, dear Donna. So she's watching tonight. Hello. Yay. Thanks, Maricel. And of course, it's it's very hard to say no to you because <laughs> kindness person. I mean, you know, and, and I think everyone will agree, right? But Maricel. Yes. It's just the sweetest and the kindest and, you know, and who's hardworking, relentless, you know, um, if I can, if I can do half of, I can have half of your heart, how big your heart is, and I'm done. <laughs> oh, very true, Adana. All right. So without further ado, um, shall we see the last photo? Oh, okay. Looks familiar. <laughs> All right, it's, it's the last photo. All right, of course, yeah. it's my Chicago team, right? Our, our very own Chicago team right here. Um, you see Leslie, and of course, you're, you know, Everett's there, Rhea, uh, Almira, and Jean, and Tita Josie, and John. And, you know, this is, you know, this is our team. And of course, we're, we're part of one, you know, one big team that is GKUSA. But I'm very proud and, you know, very blessed to be part of the Chicago team as well. So, and this was yeah. this was taken at the uh, um, GK conference also in uh, Tampa um, back yeah. in 2019. That's true. And that really, that conference was really inspiring. And uh, our unit, our, our Chicago course, truly a, 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 a force to be reckoned with, don't you think? I really think so, right. I, I think everyone is passionate, and, you know, you look at our GK core group, uh, you know, group chat on Messenger. It's just blowing up all the time, right? Yeah. Yes, definitely, definitely. All right, so we're going to change gears a little bit uh, um, tonight, uh, Atadana. So I have, we have a few videos that we've kind of got garnered and collected um, okay. and that we have special messages for uh, with questions and greetings that they want to extend to you on your special night. And we want to, and they want to, be a part of this special celebration. So I'm going to have them take this segment um, and ask you, ask that, have them ask you their question. So take it away, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a little bit nervous here. What? <laughs> Hi, Donna. Happy birthday. So uh, my question to you is, um, what was your first job? And did you have fun with it? That's all. Bye. All right. So okay, that's easy enough. I'm not sure what you got, what's what you guys are seeing, but there's like a, a black, um, like red. yeah, there's a black block. I'm not sure. Yeah. So I would stop sharing mm. and reshare. Um, Let's see if we can get that fixed. Yeah. But okay, so while while it's figuring that out, my first job uh, was selling broadcasting. At but oh. college, I told myself, see, again, you know, God is very humorous. I told myself, sales will be the last job in the world, and I can starve, and I will not get into sales. But God wanted to teach me something. That was my first job, <laughs> was selling broadcasting equipment. It was because um, I really wanted to get into uh, the TV, you know, a job at a, at a TV network. Um, but I did not know, like, it was really tough. And 
and they say, oh, you have to know somebody, you know, who knows somebody or whatever. I don't want to go because I'd be scared. Like if I mess up, you know, like I don't want to be like, I don't want to embarrass the person who kind of embarrassed me. <laughs> I did not want to do that. So I figure and I did not want to be at that time it was so hard to find a job. And most of the jobs that I would that would be, you know, that will be available will be as an executive assistant. And again, no disrespect to, you know, obviously to executive assistants or administrative assistants, but um, I just really wanted sort of a stepping um, to get into the TV network. So I sold broadcasting equipment to TV networks so that I can know people there. They can kind of know how I work and stuff like that. And if they make an endorsement, it's really because they know my work and it's not because they know me. Does that make sense? Yes. And did I enjoy it? Um, I enjoyed how much I made <laughs> because <laughs> um, I really did. It was, I was able to help my family. And uh, it was, it's got I me. Mean, sales is a really good, um, you know, you, you make good money in sales. I think you guys know that already. Um, but I was such a rebel. I was such a rebel. And um, my old boss did not even want to hire me. And he told me because I was a woman and it's a man's job. And that, I, and that you know, he thought that I would, I would just be trouble because, because I, was, uh, I was in the student council back in college. And, you know, I was an activista, <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> activist. And so he did not want me. And so, but long story short, I convinced him to hire me. <laughs> oh wow because i really needed the job so i got it <laughs> with god's help with god's help yeah yeah so god's like no 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 you're going to beg for a sales job <laughs> to follow, right? awesome what's next, what's next? this is wonderful <laughs> yeah i'm glad you're having fun i'm having a lot of fun all right shall we go on to the next question please Happy, happy birthday, Donna. Uh, my uh, question to you is, outside GK, what do you do for fun? Oh. What do you do for fun, Ate Donna, from Tito Bucci? Okay, good question. Um, I always have fun, whatever it is that I do. I really do. Um, so I am a... Uh, so I, I I promote financial literacy. Um, I think, Very important. Yeah, I think everyone should be responsible with their money and should know, should understand how money works. And I feel like, whereas before when I was much younger, I was I, I had what Chrissy Saplala and I borrow her term, I had a money block. You know, like my my perception of money was that it's the root of all evil, right? Um, but I really think that the more, you know, the the more um, wealthy people we have, like in our community who are caring for the poor, the more resources we could have, and you know, and we we can convert people who have you know who have uh, built a good amount of wealth. And and you know and uh, and inspire them to care for those who have less or who have nothing. Wouldn't that be a wonderful thing? Wouldn't that be? I, I, and I hope that would kind of, you know, maybe someday, you know, it will, it, you know, wealth will be uh, equally distributed. If that makes sense. So I do that, and I have a lot of fun with that. I write both for. Um, pleasure and for business also um i think i really more I, I i enjoy writing a lot actually more than more among everything that you everything else that i do i i enjoy writing the most so there you go wow you're just a woman of all trades <laughs> very talented i have to say at donna uh and, and i would agree with you i think a lot of i guess um, the upcoming generation has, has come into a into kind of, of that that money block of like how money we don't really know how money works and how to kind of manage it so that i think the work that you're doing is very important so thank you for that 
Um, but before we move on to the next question, we have a few more birthday greetings to you that's joining us this evening, watching us. We have from Gabby, Gabby Tumbok. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Um, happy birthday, Miss Donna. God bless. Um, from Christian Cervande, happy birthday, po. God bless. And from Christine Saplala, happy birthday, Donna. All right. Thanks, Gabby, Christian, and Chrissy. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for joining us and for celebrating after Donna with us tonight. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Here we go. Hi, Donna. Happy birthday. Um, as one of the people that you have uh, brought to Gawad Kalinga, I guess my question to you is, how do you keep your the fire of your kindness and compassion uh, to our uh, our brothers alive uh, from then until now. Happy birthday again. Kala ko ang question niya, why me? Why did you answer me? <laughs> you got me. <laughs> you know, oh wow, okay. Um, first of all, thank you for, for that question, for all the questions, right? But particularly for that question because um, every morning when I wake up and, you know, I, I say my prayers, one, one of the things, and I'm going to be emotional about this a little bit, one of the things I really truly pray for is, is for God to make me a little bit kinder, a little bit more loving, a little bit more forgiving, because just like everyone else, I, you know, I have, I, I'm not, I'm, I should be kinder. I, I can be kinder, I can be more loving, you know, and a lot of times I'm very impatient. My husband is probably laughing too. Um, those who are very close to me would know that, you know, that um, I have very, um, I'm, I'm very impatient with, with people, you know, and, um, but I, but when I, the people that I love and the people I surround myself with, there's a reason that, you know, that I'm part of that group. It's because I really, truly, truly love them. I don't, you know, I don't. Um, and so it's easy. It's easy to love people who are lovable. It's easy to love people who are your friends, your family, right? But it's hard to love people who are strangers to you. Mm -hmm. If you know them, but they're if they're not close to you or if they're not, you don't know them that well or, or whatever, it's really hard to care for them. Is that true? Right? If we're going to be honest with ourselves, it's really it's hard. But you know, especially with, with the pandemic and all of that, that's one of the things that you know that are, that I learned and kind of you know appreciated more is you know, is a human connection. You know? Um that we really have to be a little bit more, if you can be a little bit more patient, a little bit more forgiving, a little bit more loving, then the world will, will really be a much better place. And so I pray every day, I pray for it every day, I pray for humility every day. Those people who know me, you know that I'm not, you know, modest and Donna don't really, not really. <laughs> I'm just not one of those people. And so that's why I have to, you know, pray harder for that, to be more, you know, to be more, uh, to have more humility and to never, ever forget that everything that I have and everything that I get to enjoy, um, you know, is, comes from God. And it's really, I'm really nothing without, without, without those favors that were given to me. That's beautiful. No, that's very true. We have to remind ourselves of self-awareness, really, right? For the things to be grateful for. <laughs> That's that's beautiful. Um, and yeah, no, I, I'm sure a lot of people are watching that truly are even more inspired by you and want to be part of the things you're being part of and learning so much. And uh, we have a few more people joining us at Tadana before our last question uh, on this segment. We have from Dan Bercasio. Happy birthday, Donna. Um, and then from from the person just that just asked the last question from at Leslie Tikia, Nakaabot Ako. Happy birth, happy, happy birthday, dear sister. Sorry about my Tagalog. <laughs> no, you're doing 
Salamat Dan, salamat Dan, and then maraming salamat. Sister, sis, Leslie, thank you. Thank you for, I know you're a very, very busy lady as well, but thank you for. Yes, thank you all for joining us and for greeting our special celebrant tonight. So for our, this last question will be very special. So can we have a last question for Atadana for this segment? Here we go. Hello, Ms. Zona. I hope you're enjoying your birthday celebration. Now it's about time that we ask the questions. And now my question for you is, what are your hopes for the Filipino youth by 2024? And oh that's it. God. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. So his question was, what are my, what are my hopes for the Filipino youth for 2024? Yes. Not Correct. Universe naman ng question na yan. Wala ka question na, anong, anong moisturizer yung ginagamit ko at anong foundation yung ginagamit ko kaya mukha akong flawless. <laughs> okay, well, all right. My hope is that there will be more um, younger generation Filipinos and Filipino Americans or, um, and, you know, people of Filipino blood and Filipino descent you know, younger generation to, to, um, to get a deeper understanding of their heritage, of their roots, so that they can appreciate it more. And so that they can, you know, they can connect more and they can give back more to our country. Um, because much as, you know, GK has done such a tremendous job ever since, you know, it started, um, it, you know, more than, you know, I guess three decades ago, right? Um, about three decades ago. It has done so much, but there's still so much to be done, right? Um, and my, so my wish is that, is that for Filipinos to like, if they ever have to, if they, if they get out of the Philippines, is, you know, is it's not because there are no opportunities in the Philippines or that they could not, um, you know, raise their kids or provide for their families because they, there's nothing in the Philippines because of, of so much poverty, right? Um, and so those people who are, um, you know, uh, migrating in, you know, or leaving the country and everything, I, my hope is that they and their children would find it in their hearts to, you know, to look back and, and give back to the, to the country, you know, of their of their parents and maybe their ancestors, but because there's so much work that you know that um, that is uh, that needs to go get done, right? And if I don't see it in my lifetime, my my I'm only party nine, but <laughs> if I don't see it in my lifetime, my wish is that you know one day the Philippines will really truly you know get out of poverty and. That really, you know, lies on the hand in the hands of the younger generation. And for us now, who are doing this, obviously, Eric, you're much, much younger than I am. But it is our job also to bridge that and make sure that we pass that on to generation after generation. That love for for the Philippines and the, that love for our people. Well, I can confidently say, and I, I'm sure I, I share the same sentiment for everyone that have worked with you, who've experienced moments with you, is that you are a trailblazer and you continued to make the journeys of giving back to the poor a special one because you are a great example of that. So thank you, Adidana. Um, now, when I said there was the last one, it was the last one of your friends to ask the question. But truly, the last, last question, I should say, is from your very own. Shall we play the next question? Hi, honey. Um, my question oh, wow. is, um, what are your uh, hopes and dreams as far as GK? Um, what do you want to be as your legacy? Um, to GK. Oh, wow. Okay, so that is true. What your is your legacy? <laughs> you, you got him to be on camera, really? And yeah. yeah. As God is my witness, and he's he's actually very bad with, with surprises, because I can always, <laughs> I always, you know, what, what kind of legacy? Um, I don't, I don't know about legacy. I, I, I guess, 
I guess just, I just wanted to be. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he got. He, 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 he's like he, fails, you know, to sur- fails to surprise me. He can never surprise me. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know about legacy. I think I think it's. I just really want people when you know when I'm long gone. I just want people to know. Uh, I hope people know how much I care. Mm. Um, no matter if I work with them directly or, you know, or I knew them from, from the community, maybe, maybe I just met them like, you know, they got through an event and maybe never saw them again. But I hope that in every encounter, you know, people, you know, people feel that I care, that for that one moment or one for no matter how short or how long that time we spend together, that I truly care. And earlier, um, that's not always easy, right? But that's the whole, that's the essence of what we do in Gawad Kaniya. Gawad Kaniya means to give care. And we, yes, of course, our work is for the poor, but we also, our caring is really, you know, is caring for each other in the community, in the, the in, within the Gawad community and the communities outside Gawad Kalinga that we get in, get ourselves involved with. Um, and when they see that, you know, when they see that we care, we hope that they too, right, would, would be inspired to care. And then then we, we, you know, we spread the culture of caring, right? And again, no matter how hard it is, we just have to keep trying to care a little bit more, to care for more people, right? Whether or not... Oh whether or not we know them, whether or not they're friends, family, strangers. Very true. Well, I'm sure that, again, your warmth is felt. A lot of people are here to celebrate this day with this night, this evening with you. So rest assured, you are um, you are very loved. Um, and before we move on to the next um, segment for tonight, for your birthday party, Atadana, we want to, again, thank you all those who sent in their questions for Atadana uh, on uh, behalf of GKUSA. Wanna, uh, and we want to uh, thank John Hari- Jarin, Harin, sorry, Harin, Harin. Harin. Uh, Kuyabuchi, Empelido, Adelaze Takia, Carlos Capuchon, and of course, your very own people, Robbie Reyes. Your Robbie Reyes. So thank you again all for sending in your videos for Ather Donna to celebrate with us. So now I've been told that you had a special event for your birthday and that you were dedicating and, and celebrating with fellow, uh, of our very fellow brothers and sisters and the GK community. So tell us about this uh, birthday celebration at GK Sikad Village. Yeah, so um, I had a birthday celebration at the... Um, GK Sikat Village in Sariaya, Quezon. Um, and it was just, so we were thinking of, you know, what, were, what are we going to, how, you know, how am I going to celebrate my birthday with a pandemic and all of that? And we had Aisao Kenyana on, oh, yes. on our guest, as, as our guest, I guess, a couple of weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. And, you know, and I thought, oh my gosh, that would be such a fun, you know, celebration if we could do. Um, you know, a bir- birthday celebration in the village. So GK Mabuhay uh, volunteers, for those of you who haven't seen the that episode with, with Aisa, um, they usually would host local and foreign um, visitors in the Gawad Klinga villages as part of their, you know, travel itinerary, if you will, and stuff like that, right? Obviously, with the pandemic, travel is one of the, you know, most affected, right, negatively impacted um, um, business or industry. So um, Aisa and them and her team, right, the RGK Mabuhay uh, team, um, had to be a little bit more creative. And so one of the things that they do is uh, host birthday celebrations for people who want their birthdays to be a little bit more meaningful, right? And so I celebrated my birthday with 20 kids. Um, at the GK uh, Sikad village. And it was a lot of fun. I actually co-celebrated it with one of the kids there. His name is Maya. And I think Evelyn was also celebrating her birthday as well. So I shared with all of them. So it was a lot of fun. 
Wonderful. Thank you so much for the intro. And just a quick disclaimer for those watching us and joining us um, to celebrate Donna's birthday tonight. Uh, this video is a little bit on the longer side. It's about eight minutes, but we want to encourage you to please stay and, and watch the celebration. It's a, a kind of a, a snippet of, of the uh, the kind of uh, support and advocacies that Tita Donna really finds special. So we want you to be able to see, get a, a peek of that and hope that you can join us on, on the next um, um, celebration. So yes, can we roll the, the video? <laughs> thank you and thanks for joining the game. Great. Happy birthday, Donna. Enjoy your day. Um, thank you, thank you. And then, well, God bless you. You've been a lot of, you know, your your passion for 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 the children um, and you know doing all this work and using your talent of uh, gift of gab to. You know, for for the for um for the poor, keep on doing that. And again, God bless you always. You. Thank you. Well, happy birthday, Han. I wish you good health. And um, it's been a uh, blast um, spending twenty years of birthdays with you. And uh, I can't wait to have uh, 
more birthdays until uh, we're in our 80s. So I love you, Han, and uh, happy birthday again. Thanks, people. I love you too. Um, this has been very special to me, and I wasn't really, I did not really know what to expect. Um, but, you know, this really fills, you know, my heart. Talagang punong puno ang aking puso sa saya. So, para sa ngayon, pwede na muna tong ano, virtual, it's, you know, next to the best thing, right? Um, of course, it does not substitute, hindi walang kapalit yung talagang face-to-face -face ay, you know, um, magkakasama tayo at nagsa-celebrate pero uh, so especially gawa ng pandemic, hindi pa po pwede. So, maraming salamat for organizing and making sure that everyone is safe, uh, especially the kids, right? And uh, while at the same time, hopefully they are, they are having fun. I certainly had a lot of fun. I had a blast. And, you know, uh, maraming salamat din sa mga nag-attend ng, ano, ng, ng birthday celebration dito. And of course, maraming salamat sa mga bata na nadyan sa Sariaya na kayo talaga yung nag, nagbigay ng kahulugan at nag, ginawa niyo very special ang birthday na to para sa akin itong taon na ito. Um, I never had anything like this before. Ngayon, ngayon lang ako nag-birthday ng ganito. God bless sa inyong lahat at gagawin kong mission na pag pwede nang bumiyahe ay pupunta kami ni Rabi, dyan ni Tito Rabi para bisitahin namin kayo in person. Maraming salamat, mahal ko kayong lahat and God bless all of you. Bye-bye. God bless everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Happy birthday. Beautiful, beautiful, happy birthday. Wow. And that was all done with um, help from our very own GK um, Abuhay Volunteers, right, Abdidana? Yes, that was amazing. I, I, I never saw that video before this. And my, my cheeks hurt from just smiling the whole time. Serious, right? And um, I know you did, did it too. Yes. Birthday. And I did. Oh, and they told me that you know that, that that you also had fun and all of that. Um, so I know I'm I'm sure you know exactly. Yes, I mean you can't help but smile when you see kids enjoying your birthday, and it's just amazing. So I I I like I share the same. You know I couldn't agree more. You, your cheeks from from smiling. Yeah, and, and yeah. Thing, but yeah, so they 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 are definitely a, a joy to watch. So I'm glad that you were able to share to experience the same thing through our very own GK um, Abuha, and you can visit them. I believe our great team has shared their um uh, uh, their uh, Facebook page and the how to get in contact. So if you want to have a uh, celebrate your special day with GK um, Abuha, reach out to them uh, on the chat. So. Um, moving along, I, I am very told by our well-experienced team that we have some greetings and pictures that people want to uh, share with you. Uh, birthday shout outs. Uh, so let's show that. Let's bring that up. Oh, look at that. Who, who are these lovely folks, Adidana? Looks like from your team. Yes, these are people from GMA International. Oh my gosh, talaga. Inabala talaga sila, ha? And nagabala kayo. This is a surprise. You didn't know, correct? No, I didn't know. And thank you so much, ladies, for for your greetings. Maraming maraming salamat. These are, yeah, people. But these are our team from GMA International. From GMA. And they want us to have Donna Turns Party Night. All right, next birthday shout out is from which group? Let's see. Okay. What are these folks? Wow. See, Bob, ba yung nasa gitna? So that's obviously, that's Carol. Hi, Carol. Thank you. 
so much for for the, the for this reading. Babo yung parang payat. He's so like he looks like you look great, dude. And GB, right? And then wala ako sa lamin. And of course, bang na ako na ka na my nini is now a nanai. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we were all part of the events team and lovely and, and her and Eric were all like all, all in the same team now. She's a mommy. Uh, wow, hashtag team so awesome. so Yes, all right. Next next uh photo greeting. Here we go. Oh, oh our oh, very old team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, love and, and Eric. Of course, you guys have been such a blessing to me and make things so much easier for myself and i'm sure chrissy would agree as well and myself and uh thank you so much for all your help uh here in, in uh, quantum gk and just being awesome wonderful and our last photo greeting will come from here we go hi chrissy isang mapagkalingang araw so for the caring day is caring yan yung ano mo Tagalog 101. Uh, <laughs> thank you for sharing your gift of gab to care for others. Yes, I do have a gift of gab, and it comes uh, it comes in a balik bayan box. Ganyan na dal dal. Yes, praise God. Uh, from your team GK USA family. All right. Um, I believe that is the last photo uh, photo greeting. Um, is that correct? Yes, it is. Um, before we move on to the next section uh, segment of the night, from Jules, uh, real quick, from Jules Malawis Fontanares, I believe. I'm so sorry again. Um, happy birthday, Paul. Ate Ate Donna. Malaling salamat. All right. Now, you will be in for a birthday surprise. We have a lot of surprises tonight, Donna. We have a special video greeting from your truly roll the video. Hi, hi. I just want to greet you happy birthday. And um, I love you so much. And um, I'm so happy that uh, uh, you came, became part of my life. And I uh, wish all your dreams will come true and always stay healthy. I love you so much. Wow. <laughs> oh, de ba? Sana all. Believe, believe na ako sa inyo, you got him to talk on cam. He's very, very shy and very reserved. <laughs> but thank you so much. I'm wondering, ito kaya yung day na may kasalanan siya yeah, sa akin? <laughs> Did you hear? He no, said, I didn't think we were all the same. He said, I'm nervous. <laughs> Maybe that was the day when you had, when when you were in trouble, huh? May kasalanan ka sa akin. That's why you had to do the video. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I love you too, of course. And the whole wide world. No. Oh. All right. Oh, yay. Well, I hope you were surprised. A few more comments we have from Jainab Alfat. Happy birthday, Donna. Um, again, from uh, Kuya uh, Robbie, uh, Robbie Reyes. Great hosting. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm honored. I, I'm learning from the best from our very own celebrant tonight. So thank you. Um, again, from Ate Marcel Villanueva. That was fun. Oh, ha, ha, ha. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yay, we're having so much fun. Okay, now we've had such a great time celebrating the Atadan. I hope you've had fun. Are you have been having fun? I am having the time of my life. Woo! Yes, and more. So, I hope I can eat now, my Lord. Down, naman. Oh, no, naman. More to come. More power. More blessings to come. God is good all the time. All the time. Exactly. All the time. God is good. Right, so before we kind of start wrapping up your birthday, this is the beginning, but you know, I'm sure people are going to want to continue celebrating with you. Oh, son of oh, very cute! Oh, oh my gosh, that was that was really a surprise. I also, it really, <laughs> is. It really is, you have no idea. Oh, very cute. Okay, all right, so like I said, um, we're uh, before we kind of wrap things up, we have one question for you. 
Um, mm -hmm. And and really, we want want to hear you in in full uh, what your thoughts on this. The question of the night is: Are you ready? I am. And a little bit of a drum roll. The okay. the question of the night is: If you were to make just one radical change in this world right now to make life better, what would it be and why? Yan na naman yung ating Miss Universe question. What about what is your favorite color? And I will even. For you, oh, next, and <laughs> <laughs> red ink, di ba? Oh, di ba? You know, I'm done with Congress and Bugwin. Like, there's so many things that I would change because, like I said earlier, I'm a natural rebel, you know, and I'm super OC. <laughs> People, <laughs> know that. People who are close to me know that I'm super OC, so like, I would, you know, like, if it if the frame is a little bit crooked, I will train, you know, like, you you know, like, I'm crazy like that. Um, but truly, you know, one thing that I, if I had the superpowers to change the world is that I would, I would eradicate poverty. I really, truly believe that because um, I, I believe that God created the world um, with so much abundance. Um, we should have enough for everybody, but, um, and, you know, but for one reason or another, maybe greed, maybe, maybe whatever it is, you know, some people are just born to poverty. And like I said earlier, you know, and I think that's why it was a really, you know, it was a really life-changing event for me when I saw poverty for the first time, because I could not believe that that was the condition the living condition they had and everyone who had been on this show or you, you probably maybe not even on the on Quentin Chike you have talked to or anyone had talked to na first time to see poverty talaga right in the Philippines um they you know nasa shock talaga sila they get, you know it's <laughs> their their life truly changes we feel that when we you know when we uh uh put in our, our little donation or put in, you know, uh, volunteer a little bit of our time, maybe share a little bit of our talents. We feel that we're changing people's lives, right? And we are, we are. But in the process, our life changes as well. And there's just so much more we truly receive than, you know, than, than whatever it is that we give, right? And then that's not to diminish our contribution. I'm just saying that that's, that's an impact that, you know, that, that, changes our lives so for me you know whatever i know god with Kalina obviously is doing it, its share where we are, all are you know contributing to that work to to um eradicate poverty um but you know i think if we continue again to spread the culture of caring um that god which is what god kalinga is truly all about then hopefully maybe in our lifetime again you know maybe not maybe not in my lifetime but maybe in in generations to come we will see a more equitable you know distribution of wealth that no one no one has to um you know no one has to go hungry no mm. the children right no one has to go hungry no one has to um no one has to uh you know, drink dirty water, for example, or um, no one has to worry about, you know, um, their children um, putting a foot on the table or sending them to school and stuff like that because, because wealth or because resources are better distributed. So that's mm. that. And that's a beautiful, beautiful um uh, advocacy that and, and the work that you're doing is truly taking steps towards that, Adana. Um, so thank you, thank you for sharing that. Your 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 mission uh, of of spreading um, abundance of of you know food, you know what you know health, everything. It, it's it's truly inspirational. So thank you so much for sharing that with uh, again with us. Um, and before we we ask for your thank yous, your final thoughts of tonight's um, birthday celebration of your party nine, um, uh, we have a few more uh, uh, shout outs from Gloria Kauba. Happy birthday, Paul, watching here in the Phil from Bagong Silang Kalookan. Um, and she says, God bless your heart, uh, Mom Donna. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Maraming salamat. Yes. Yes, thank you, Gloria. To, to all our friends in the Philippines watching, thank you so much for joining us. It's quite early, but thank you for joining us. So, yes, again, I hope you've had a great time at the Dana. What are some of your final thoughts? Any thank yous you would like to share and anything you want to kind of uh, bring forth uh, during our time here together? So, and again, thank you for allowing me to be part of this event. Well, first of all, you've done a great, great job. Now I can retire. <laughs> I, uh, no, 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 no. I'm just a guest the host. Anytime. You 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 you've been amazing. And obviously, you know, we we uh, we I've seen you host um, our local events here in Chicago and um of course when when we did the, when I did the interview with you, you were amazing as well. So I had it's not a surprise for me, obviously, right? Um and I'm sure, you know, people hey. And this are also, uh, you know, very much impressed and excited uh, that you hosted this evening's Quantum GK. Um, I truly mean it, though. You know, um, obviously, uh, we can't. You know, we're looking, we're looking for more people to be, you know, to be involved in the work. And I love what Bing Importante said in one of the uh, one of the Quantum GK episodes where we had her as a guest. Is that you know, for, for us to see that the work is really growing is that we see different people and, you know, holding, you know, uh, positions, right, uh, doing the, the, the responsibilities and, and uh, the roles that, that we play now, that we do now. So, so that, you know, that gives opportunity for people to serve as well, right, and to, to contribute their own talents and and uh, and uh, gifts that God has given them, and then for us also to move into other things, uh, other parts of the work. So hint, hint, <laughs> hint um, um, Everett. And then of course I also want to thank um, Chrissy uh, and Lovely and Eric for all you know for all the hard work, um, for all your you know your support. Na ko napaka showbiz sound ko no, but they they. You guys know that I truly mean it. Um, sabi ko nga, you, ano, you, you guys make sure that I don't get ano, high blood. High <laughs> blood <laughs> pressure shoots up when, you know, like I get frazzled or whatever. And, you know, the, the first few episodes of, of Quentin Chike, you know, Chrissy was there to, you know, and still here, obviously, to, to help us out. But siya talaga yung sabi ko. Ano ko, anti-high blood ko, anti-hypertension. And then of course, lovely, you know, I, and I mean it, you, you know, you're, you're the best talaga. Um, and you talaga, you know, I can just relax and be like, I know that things are moving because you're, you're, you're in charge and you just, you know, take it on and run with it. Um, also, Eric, uh, thank you for putting the videos to get video together. And, um, and of course, you know, you're, I love that we share, you know, writing as our, you know, for, as our passion. And I look forward to learning from you all, um, you know, as we continue this work for the poor. Um, it's all because I'm having so much fun. I don't feel like it's really giving, if that makes sense. So I'm not going to give good. I'm going to enjoy. And then, of course, to everyone who uh, asked their questions and just said their greetings. Um, hindi ko na isa-isahin kasi baka makalimutan ko yung iba or I'm pretty sure I won't be able to mention all of you. But thank you so much for taking time. You know, uh, one major, again, one of the major learnings um, I have, uh, I have uh, learned, uh, you know, I realized is that presence is really important, right? And that, you know, we should, I know, uh, Life gets so, you know, um, it, in a, you know, it gets uh, busy, and there's so many things that you know that um, that compete with our attention. Um, but when people make time to make you feel special, and you know, to greet you on your on your birthday, whether that's a a message, uh, you know, or a text, or post on your Facebook page, you know, um, it just makes you you know, feel that, you know, your life, your life is really worth living, right? Because, because of all the people around us. And of course, I'd like to thank my beloved people. Where are you? <laughs> my beloved people. <laughs> you have pizza. Wow. 
I yeah. So even him, I, he really surprised me. <laughs> na surprise ako na na surprise niya ako, right? Because every year for the past 20 years that we celebrated my birthday together, um, he, you know, kumbaga, alam ko na, he will never be able to surprise thanks me. Thanks to Eric and Lovely. Oh, thanks to Eric daw and Lovely. Kasi hindi niya talaga nakakasurprise sa akin. So, thank you, honey. And yeah, that's another thing, right? Just because don't take the, your loved ones for granted just because we've been together, what, 20 years? 20, yeah, 20 years. Um, it doesn't get old. Love doesn't get old, does it? Right? So, true. Um, also, thank you to GK Mabuhay volunteers. Again, um, uh, Everett mentioned this already earlier. Make your day, your, your birthday special or your anniversaries or whatever it is that you're celebrating. I know I have, um, I have fellow July celebrants. I have a lot of fellow July celebrants um, on Facebook. I've been greeting them. So, you know, so hindi pa naman huli ang lahat. You can still celebrate. It doesn't have to be on your birthday. It can be, it can be advanced or related. Um, but yeah, you can uh, please reach out to GK Mabuhay volunteers and, uh, you know, and raise, raise funds for, for the kids um, and uh, for Gawad Kalinga. Uh, and then also I wanted to um, remind everyone, first, first of all, thank everyone who had already contributed and donated to my fundraiser. Um, I think we're at $1,400 out of the $2,000 goal. So I'm $600 short. Um, and we have two more weeks. So if you haven't seen it yet, um, you know, please, uh, please uh, check out my fundraiser and whatever, you know, what, whatever amount um, would make a difference. All right. And then finally, micro donation. Don't forget. And I, I hope people are, you know, putting this on the, on the chat box. Um, please visit gkusa.org and, um, and uh, sign up to be a member of uh, Gabo Kalinga and, uh, and whatever, whatever uh, contribution donation you might want to, to, um, to contribute, right? to, to, get, to give Gabo Kalinga on a consistent basis, on a regular basis. We would really appreciate it and that would just really help us further our that is it. Thank you so much. It's been a lot of fun, you guys. A lot of fun. I mean, just a few more last uh, greetings for you, Atadan. There's many uh, ongoing from Gloria. You said your deeds spread like a virus. Well, thank you so much. From from Tito uh, uh, June um, is watching. Um, and uh, from Dolly Chabayan, happy birthday, my dear Donna. A lot of people are wanting to celebrate and get the party going. Keep going. Thank you but, so much, you guys. Well, I, I, as, as you said, and we want to echo, we love you. The people watching us tonight, joining us tonight, love you. Again, I want to thank you for allowing me to be part of your birthday celebration. It's truly an honor. Um, and I've learned so much to our team behind the scenes, helping us put this together. Thank you. And so, yeah, without further ado, the party continues. As Atita, uh, as, as Atidana said, um, you know, be kinder, be more patient, be more loving each and every day. And God will continue to bless each and every one of us in whatever purpose he has planned for our lives. Would you agree? 100%. Yeah. So, yeah. So be kind to, to all of you. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you, we all, we both hope that you have a great night and you join us again every Thursday uh, for Quentung GK and to learn more about what GK does for those for the poor and to love more and to be more kind. Have a great night, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Be, be a blessing to others. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.